You know what? I think the people that evacuated shouldn't be allowed to come back. We should have left. Literally everybody did. And everyone are a bunch of idiots. Right? The news is blown in out of proportion again. And people panic at the first sign of a raindrop around here. And we're the smart ones. Look, if you want to leave, the front door's right there. I'm not stopping you. She sounds terrifying. Can I help you? My car broke down. Oh, um. All right, yeah. Uh, yeah come in, come on, come on. Sorry, it looks like a bomb went off in here, but we're in the middle of renovating. So, Julia, you said you had some car trouble? My car broke down. Yeah, yeah. cars will do that. You know, Ben over here works with cars every day. Maybe he could help you out. Yeah. Um, were you evacuating? Well, I bet your uh, boyfriend's worried sick about you. You do have a boyfriend, don't you? Oh. Well, that's too bad, huh, Ben? Can I get you some clothes? All right. You know what? I'll get it. I got the perfect shirt for you, all right? I'll be right back. Give you two kids some space. Sorry about that. So, are you from around here? Where exactly did your car break down? Look at me. Should uh, I come back later or? Uh... No, uh, no. Here you go. There's a bathroom down there if you go Thank to the. Thank you. Holy shit, little bro. I did not see that coming. No, it's not like that. There's something wrong with her. No, there's something wrong with you. I think there's a lot of things right with her. Dude, she's just scared. Right? She needs some comfort. You could be her pizza boy savior. Do you even listen to yourself? No, but I listen to you. And I hear you blowing things out of proportion again, like you always do, like you did with the hurricane. I'm telling you, there's something off with her. Oh. Hey, Julia. He was talking about somebody else that totally wasn't you. Where's your family? Are you feeling all right there, Julia? My car broke down. Pretty sure we covered that. Well, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow, little bro. I need to go to the
psychedelic show The hum will share its flow Electric lullaby Flowing into my head Colors in a stream Turquoise purple red Tranquil butterfly Flutters through my brain Through the dream world sky Musical sustain Why can't I sleep in your bed? No, Walt. What do we say about that? It's better for both of us. That's right. This way I can let you be a big boy and you can sleep on your own. There's nothing there. Our job as mothers is to protect our children. This is how we create boundaries. I hear something. Your fears, may they be abandonment, loss, or for the safety of your child, can make you overstep those boundaries and influence them in a negative way. It's perfectly normal to have those worries, but the overprotective mother acts on them.
Little do you know that those intrinsic fears, that deep longing for your child's love, will separate you further. You cannot move forward as a mother unless you understand the profound influence your actions have on your child. Mom! It's coming! It's coming! Mom! Mom, please! You must let your fears go. Mom. Otherwise, they will consume you. And they want you. Mom! Ellens, he's here for some of his stuff. Is that all right? Yeah. What's with the name tag? Speed dating. Already. Where's my box? My box. My last box of stuff. Teddy, there is no last box. You took everything. Don't play games with me. I had important shit in that box. That's my bear. You gave this to me. Yeah, and now I want it back. Not a chance. I had to give you back my watch. Teddy, this bear has gotten me through so many tear-filled nights, you can't put a price on that. I'm 14 bucks at a gas station in Encino. I want it. No. Do you want me to be ruthless? Huh? Because I will. I'll be downright evil. You don't know this, you understand? But I will fucking kill you, Lindsay. I'll kill Tom. I'll kill every roommate you got in this damn place. Just give me the fucking box. I gotta piss. When I get back, I'm gonna take the box and I'm gonna take the fucking bear. Have some more onion. <laughs> you 
Sierra or Puma knife? No. Teddy took it. <laughs> I literally just put it down two seconds ago. That's not possible. Teddy.
room. Oh, maybe. Are you sure it wasn't just a dream? Her name is Annie. Annie? Is she a friend of yours, maybe? She lives inside the box I found. What box? I found it today at school. Lucy's nana told me it's a dear <sighs> box. Lucy's nanny should not be telling you stories like that. Nobody lives inside of a box, Lily. I promise. Pinky, promise. When I was your age, I... Hey, why don't you stay in Mum's bed tonight?
Uh, it's me. Just checking in on the progress. I hope your little getaway has helped clear your head. Just make sure you give them the pages before Monday, okay? We can't afford another extension, so we're all waiting to see what you got.
You scared me. It's cold up here. not living here. But April, we need this. No, Edgar. You do. We're leaving. Let's go.
Seth. Seth. Honey, could you give us a sec? Val, I don't know what to say. Test results are negative. By all standards, Seth is perfectly healthy. Seth, did you order something? <gasps> no, no, no. He's feeling so much better. Are you sure? Yeah, he could be back to work by the end of the week. Okay, if you could just hold his position for the next couple of days. Yeah, he's really been improving. Okay, thanks. Thanks so much. The number of foreign cells living on the average person outnumber human cells by more than 10 to 1. These microorganisms are known as human flora. While some of them perform tasks that are useful to the human host, the majority of them have an effect which remains unknown. It is estimated that 5,000 to 10,000 different species of bacteria live in the human body. In fact, research suggests that the relationship between flora and humans is a symbiotic one. And while many of the microorganisms perform useful functions, some species can be capable of causing disease and infection. Does kind of behavior normal for you guys? No. You don't understand. Things used to be so great, and now it's like... He isn't even the same person anymore. He stopped going to work. He doesn't take care of himself. I have to do everything. So break up with him already. It's not like you're married. <laughs> I can't. Hi, I have a moth problem. When can you come and spray? Parasite. 
I think I know what's wrong with Seth. It's a brain parasite. It's called toxoplasmosis. You get it from cats. It was thought to be harmless unless you're immunodeficient, but some scientists believe that it can affect people in subtle ways. They think it could cause behavioral changes. It affects people's brains. And you read this where? The internet. It explains Seth's behavior. Can't you prescribe something? Here's something to look up. Cyberchondria. It's hypochondria. Induced by looking up too many medical terms on the internet. Val. He's probably just in a funk. A funk? If you had seen what he did... It happens to the best of us. Val. This blood. Seth? <coughs> Whose blood is this, Seth?
close my eyes They glow behind my lids Psychedelic show The hum will share its flow Electric lullaby Flowing into my head Colors in a stream Turquoise purple red Tranquil butterfly Flutters through my brain Through the dream world sky Musical sustain Electric lullaby Dream.